All right, Panther fans, hockey fans, welcome to the first video, 22-23 NHL hockey season. My name is Jaws. My friends call me Jaws Stradamus. That is because I am the guy that correctly predicted the Kachuk for Huberto trade three days in advance, and that is why I can tell you without a doubt in my head that the only way you, the NHL season is starting on time is if you smash that like button, you punch that subscribe button, and I want you to flick that notification bell like you would your girlfriend's nipples. Now, the guy over here laughing at me in the hat is my buddy Stu. Stu is older than I am, but he was a stick boy for the Islanders, which means he has more hockey knowledge in his head than I know about fixing cars. And I know a lot about fixing cars. I know where to put the oil, and I know how to get it to the dealership. Stu, how are we doing, buddy? Doing good, man. Excited to be back with you. Yeah, yeah. We're a little, we're little uh, hiatus. Really nothing to talk about since the Kachuk trade, but uh, shocking news today. Yeah. I just sent, <laughs> I just sent you the leak. You 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 you, you can break it. It's been broken for a while, but go ahead, Stu. It's official. Yeah. Joe Thornton is not returning to the Panthers. Yeah. Let's have a moment of silence. Oh geez. <laughs> All right. So I mean, we kind we kind of knew that was going to happen, but yeah, uh, it kind of had to happen, right? I you mean, know, he could ask for dice. five dollars. Yeah. It, it's, 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 they don't have money to sign me at this point. So all right. Subject of this video, we're going to be doing a series of videos on the players. I don't know if we're going to get to every single player, but the overwhelming majority we are going to try to get to before the beginning of the season. This video is on Sergey Robrowski. I can't say his Sergei last name anymore. Bobrowski. I can't say his last name anymore because all I call him now is Bubba Bruski. All right. Yeah, Bubba Bruski. <laughs> that, so that, that's my nick, nickname for him. He even has his own puppet. So basically what we're going to kind of do in these videos is just kind of review stats just perhaps second from last season and Stu and I will give our opinions on what we think uh is coming for that per that particular player this year and uh I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not gonna I'm not gonna divulge it but I found some interesting statistics and stuff involving Spencer Knight in my research that I had to but I can't get into that because this is Bubba's video. But the next one's going to be Spencer Knight because I'm just I'm just like dying to get this part of it out. So all right, I'm going to pull up his. I'm not my screen share for some reason is is malfunctioning right now. So you guys will have to trust me when I say that Bubba Bruski last year his numbers last season were 54 games played. He was 39 and seven with a 2.6 seven goals against and a 913 save percentage. Interestingly enough, last season I made a video talking about how most of the time that he plays 50 or more games, the following season he does worse. Now, the only time that wasn't true was in his second season with the Panthers when he had such a horrible first year that by his second year his numbers were better, but still not not the same by his standards. Last season, his numbers pretty much came close to mirroring what he had in his last season with Columbus. So that's where he's at. Um, he's not getting any younger, as we all know. We all know Spencer Knight's chomping at the pit behind him. So, Stu, I'm going to let you roll with what your thoughts on how he improved last year and what he thinks is going to come with him this year. I'll let, I'll let you roll off first. Thank you. I thought he had a respectable, I thought he had a good year. Obviously we had an, an unbelievable offense in front of him where we were scoring almost four goals, maybe more a night. So, you know, there wasn't a lot of pressure on him. I mean, he gave up some soft goals, which, you know, no one Bobrovsky, that's what he does, but his numbers are respectable. What I liked was that he, he made, some really key saves when we needed them, especially in the playoffs. I don't think if, uh, if Bobrovsky hadn't played as well as he did and he, the result would have been worse, yep. but um, you're right. He's not getting any older. He, the window is starting to close and you're right. Knight's chomping at the bit to take his number one spot, but Bob's the consummate pro. We all know how hard he works and I don't think he's, letting the kid take his job anytime soon. So I'm predicting he probably plays around the same amount of games. 
maybe it's 50, 51, 50, somewhere around yeah. there. I expect yeah. him to play 50 games, hoping he stays healthy. And um, I'm sure he's bitterly, as everybody else on the team is, disappointed in their showing in the playoffs. We got a new coach, hopefully a new system, a, a more defensive system. Goner, Huberto, and Weger. Um, in comes Kachuk. In comes Mark Stahl, who's, you know, a pretty steady veteran and hoping we can squeeze, you know, squeeze some more uh, more gas out of, out of his tank. Exactly. I'm hoping he's not done yet. Right. So um, as far as Bob goes, my feeling is if the defensive, if the defensive system or a more defensive system is put in place, uh, not leaving Bob hanging out to dry as a lot of the goals that were scored on him. I mean, you can make the save, you can make the second save, but if that puck's sitting around, he ain't getting it yeah. the third time. And I think yeah. a lot yeah. of goals were scored that way where the defense just let him down. So, and the forwards too. Many goals were scored where the forwards, you know, yeah, took a figure skate back into the zone to uh, catch up to the play. So yep. um, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for more aggressive uh, defensive play in front of the net, clearing guys out. The big thing is if Bob sees the puck, he's going to stop it most of the time. Right, right, right. So uh, first thing, as you mentioned about the disappointment of the playoffs and everything like that, as an aside, something I've been thinking about, because at the end of last season, a lot of people were thinking about this whole hashtag time to hunt people. It's been mixed on that. I, I have a hashtag for this year. I'm just going to throw it out there. How about redemption? Yeah, let me go on record and saying, as I did, I think at the beginning of last year, I did not like that hashtag. Yeah. I never used that hashtag. Yeah. And that's all I'll say on that. Yeah. Time to hunt. I, I, yeah. I, I like for, for specifically for, for the sweet and how things ended hashtag redemption. Now on to Bobrovsky. So everybody knows first couple of years, he wasn't exactly my favorite player. All right. I mean, I love the guy, but you know, we paid 10 million for a guy and he had a goals against over three the first time out. Improved the second year. Last year, absolutely had a strong enough postseason for us to have to, you know, we should have advanced. All right. By any goaltending metric, he was, and, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure we beat Washington if he doesn't have stellar play. Yeah. Because I, said that. I mean, yeah, Washington gave us all we could handle, kind of the way we gave Tampa all, all they could handle the previous year. Would you agree that Bob was, excuse me, would you agree that Bob was our steadiest player out there? Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. There's no, no doubt. It was like, that was the first time in his career where we were leaning on him and expecting, dude, you can't give up more than two. You know what I mean? That was the first time. And it's, the way that team was built, the way the defense was built, you can't expect your goaltender to steal a series. Um, I think he played, well enough for us to to beat Tampa. Just the rest of the team didn't show up. The couple of yeah, we, didn't, I had, we didn't we didn't we didn't score any goals. It's plain right. and simple. That was the difference right. in the in this in both series. Right. You can't have a a team that scores four and five and six and seven sometimes eight goals a night pretty consistently, and we only get one. Right. Right. Or nothing. So, so anyway, the the couple concerns I have. And in going into this season, his age, yeah, he's still at an age that he should still be performing. He hasn't had any major injuries. That, that's something for a discussion later on down the road. He's obviously, he doesn't look like he's physically regressing. And he, he was quicker last year. Whatever he did in last year's offseason program, hopefully he does it again because he was definitely quicker and, and, and more alert last season. I'm a little bit concerned. I've said this in the previous, in the, in the preview video I did for the NHL, and I'm going to talk about this. I have a feeling that the team is going to start slow with the new personnel and the new coaching system and the new coach and the new defensive system, which brings me to my concern with Bobrovsky that first year he was with the Panthers. 
he was clearly struggling to adapt to a new defensive system. So I have a feeling, I don't think we're going to see anything bad like we saw the first year, an entire year. But I said it before, I'll keep saying it. I don't want anybody freaking out over the first 20, 25 games when we look like just barely a bubble playoff team. I, I think I think everybody's, it's going to be a completely different culture at, at, at this point now, because, you know, you got to figure Uyghur was one of the more outspoken guys and Huberto, well, although he wasn't very, very vocal on the ice, you could tell the, the energy of those two guys being out of the locker room is going to change the energy in the locker room. And I think it's going to be a little bit of a feeling out process for everybody, because not only do the players not know what to expect from Maurice, but now you've got different players in different positions and you're leaning on different guys. I mean, how many times did we see, oh, we need a goal. All right, put Barkoff and Huberto out there on the ice together. And it, so I think to some extent, the changes may cause the team and including Bobrovsky to start a little bit slow. Now, the Spencer Knight thing, we saw this to some extent with Drieger and we saw it last season, the beginning of the year with, with Spencer Knight. I really feel like the way that the season ended the previous year and then him knowing that Spencer Knight had played so well when he first came up, I think that really pushed Bob during the off season to, to work on his fundamentals, to get quicker and, and to be better. So the way that Spencer Knight closed this off, you know, closed off this last season, he started okay. He had some struggles, went to the minors. And then when the last, you know, bulk of games that he played, especially when Borowski was out, Knight played pretty well. Not perfect, but pretty well. Well enough, I'm sure, that with a new coach in town and the fact that we just traded basically the face of the franchise, Bobrovsky has to understand and, and be feeling it a little bit like, okay, I got this kid right on my ass. And this GM is crazy. He'll trade anybody. So uh, I think we're going to see how much, this is a weird way to put it, but I think we're going to see just how badly Bobrovsky wants to stay in South Florida. And I, we've talked about that too. That might motivate Barkov too. That's also my other thought for the season is that I think the combination of getting rid of the coach that got us the president's trophy and then blowing out Huberto like that and Uyghur to some extent, I think these guys are going to take a look around and, and, and realize ain't nobody safe. Ain't nobody safe. So what do you think? Well, I'll add to the comment about Huberto and, and Uyghur leaving because there's a, there's a, there's a big return in Matthew Kachuk. Right. And just from seeing him play, listening to the press conferences, I like this kid. I like this kid a lot. And he talks about swagger that he brings. Yeah. Obviously, we've seen him start fights and chirp and get under people's skins like Hornquist does. So um, I'm really hoping that Kachuk makes us fans forget all about Hubert Owen Uyghur. Obviously, we didn't get it done in multiple right. Stanley Cup series. Right. With Barkoff and Huberto. Yeah. And yeah. Uyghur. And what Uyghur. I'm really hoping is Matthew Kachuk comes in and shows Barkoff how to be a leader, how to be a captain. I want to see Barkoff have more fire. I want to see him display that instead of the soft spoken gentleman that he is. We all know what a great player he is, but now it's time to get mean. Hungry and mean. That should be the hashtag, huh? How do you like that one? Hashtag hungry and mean. Hungry and mean. So, uh, well, they... I'm looking for big things. I mean, I read an article on Twitter yesterday that said that Kachuk's going to be a disappointment for us. I mean, like, how does this guy come and write an article like that and he's never well, seen him play with the look, team? Look, I'm, I'm going to, I got to say this. It's, it's the end of August. I, I, any, any content that any hockey person is putting out right now, you are forgiven because you, it's, you, you're just sitting there scrolling, like nothing else scrolling to, nothing Twitter, else to write about? Like, please, somebody do something. <laughs> you know what I well, mean? <laughs> well, I hope Matthew Kachuk read that article 
and I yeah. hope he gets big to the writer. <laughs> and I, I hope he scores 40 goals and 50 assists or whatever. Right. It, right. it all depends on who he's going to play with, but I, I'm expecting big things. Yeah. Now, you so, know, um, talking back, about back to back to Bobrovsky because I know we're back we're to Bobrovsky. Yeah, sure. So now time. you, so now he's going to have different defensive pairs right. in front of him. Right. We're right, all expecting right. Forsling and Ekblad. I think the Forsling, I mean the uh, Ekblad Uyghur combination, cost us a lot of goals. And again, Bob sees the puck. I'm pretty confident he stops it. But there were many, many times bad passes were made. Men were not covered, blah, blah, blah. So the key to Bobrovsky this year, in my opinion, is what the defensive does in front of them. Right. And what the forwards do to help the defense and the goalie out. So, yeah, yeah. And, and, and to that point, um, when I watched, when I made the video about Balsers and Cousins and White, and when I was watching that film, I saw the film of Tyranny as well, which I don't know how we're going to fit those guys, but, the back checking the the these guy i mean they can score they can score enough right but they're just full rink players they are up and down the ice and they create their opportunities a lot of time off of back checking and stealing the puck etc cetera, etc cetera. so um it, to some extent this is kind of a joke but to some extent he's going to have to get used to not getting hung out the dry anymore you know what i mean I think now with the personnel we have, and I'm not saying it's never going to happen because I've watched plenty of, of highlights with Forsling being, you know, getting beat or being out of position. But I think the combination of, I, I, I think it's kind of, kind of spook them. Like, 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 like okay, if, we, if, if they're going to let Uyghur go, right, as, as, as well as he did play for us, even though he had the mistakes, you know, these guys are going to have to understand that, okay, we've got this new, new coach, new system, and it's going to be a lot tighter. It's going to be a lot tighter, a hockey game. So you're not going to be able to make the mistakes like we made last couple of years and just blow it off. Cause we can come back and score three more goals, you know, in the second period. So, but I think Bobrovsky I'd much made, rather, much rather take off a goal for right. And a goal against I'll make that yeah. trade. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. But so if I had to if I had to put numbers on it, I think I do think his numbers, you will see a slight drop. Nothing, nothing massive. I don't I, I'm thinking 275 or well, maybe a little bit under and, you know, nine, 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 ten, something like that. I think you see a little bit of a drop off, but. I, I still think he's going to be playing. I think now, at the very least, I feel comfortable. Like, look, I'm not worried about Bobby get to the playoffs. Previously in his career, all the other years in his career, when he's made it to the playoffs, it was it was not it was bad. It was just flat out bad, with the exception of the one series. Now we watched him play well against Washington, and he did elevate his play against Tampa. I mean, he kept this. I know, you know, you go and you look at some of the scores of the games, and you think he didn't play well. He kept this in games for a long time before some of those scores broke open. And so that monkey has got to feel good to be off of his back. You know what I mean? He, he played well enough. And now it's just a matter of the team following his lead. I'll let you get the last word in. No, I, I definitely agree with you. I, I think the team has to come in thinking playoff mentality from the first game on. I think it was um, showtime, if you want to use yeah. like the Lakers. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think it was oh, showtime yeah. in the regular season. Let, let's see if we can score 10 goals a game. Right. And it was entertaining, right. and we had a fun, and we whooped it up, and let's get going. What are we we won 10. We won. You know yeah. what? Forget about that. Let's have a serious attitude the whole year. Right. One goal, get to the playoffs and play playoff hockey the whole regular season so we right. don't have this abrupt transition from the run and right. run style that we did right. to the playoff style grinding it out. Yep. I actually think Bob's going to have a better year. Okay. Okay. I think that if Maurice puts in the defensive system, I hope he puts in, 
and 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 there's emphasis on again cutting down the goals against the defensive guys doing their job the forwards coming back and taking their man and blah 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 um there's no reason why bob can't have another good year right you know numbers really don't mean anything to me it's you know, it's the one, the wins and losses, just like right. shots on goal mean nothing. Obviously, yeah, well, we put up 50 shots against right. Vasilevsky. Yeah. And he's, he, yeah. he stopped 49 of them. Right, right, right. The way I'm thinking Bob's coming into this season is, and he's not an old man, but again, the window is closing. Yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. And, 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 yeah. and, and, and I, I don't want the players to, be scared about, you know, making mistakes and getting traded. But I just think maybe Zito is done for a while. Maybe yeah. there's one move. I don't know. We obviously have the cap thing we have to work right, out. Right, right, right. Once the team is settled and once the lines are set, I want to see, you know, we'll have videos during the beginning of the year to see. Right. As long as they're, you know, as long as they're in, I'd like to see them in the top three, but the goal is just to make the playoffs. Obviously, yeah. Tampa showed it doesn't matter where you end up in the regular season. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just have to wait and see. All right, guys, that's going to do it for video number one. The next one's going to be Spencer Knight. Looking forward to that one, because like I said before this video, I found something very, very interesting. So, in fact, as soon as I stop recording, I'm going to share it out with Stu so he has an idea of what I'm talking about. Appreciate all the support. Like I said at the beginning of the video, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because you never know when Stu and I are going to go live. What you got, Comments. Stu? Comments, yeah, guys. Comments. We want your feedback. What do you think about what we just said? And give us your predictions on what yep. Bob's going to do this year. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. All right, everybody. We appreciate all the support, and we will see you again soon in the next one.